Hi everybody, I'm Dustin Strong, holistic nutritionist, and I want to give you some quick thoughts here about your immune system and this latest challenge to our immune system in the form of this coronavirus. There's a lot of fear going around, a lot of questions, and, and when I find that to be the case, I always want to give people something that they can do. And it's really important for us to focus on what we can do. And what we can do, first of all, is learn from this going forward. One of the things that we can do, and you've heard this a thousand times, is wash your hands more. Thank goodness we're all doing that. In fact, I challenge any one of you to find a cuter video than my niece who made up a song to sing while she is scrubbing her hands. Scrubby dubby dubby, scrubby dubby dubby, scrubby dubby dubby, scrubby dubby dubby, you wash your hands, scrubby dubby dubby, you wash your hands. Although Broadway has attempted and written two more songs for all of you to sing while washing your hands. Turn the water on and start your hands are rubbing. Now it's time to soup them up and start just scrubbing you. Must work it up into a lava E. But no, I know that you would rather be outside where there is there. 20 seconds is it long, barely time to sing the song. There's no time to get it wrong, not in 20 seconds. So there's a lot of things that we can do going forward. But from a nutrition standpoint, what we can do is observe what our body needs to support its immune system naturally. Now, over the years, I've found that there are about five major things that would be supportive of the immune system that tend to be underrepresented in the diets and underrepresented when you're looking at things like lab work and other ways to kind of figure out whether or not you're getting your nutrients. So the next five videos, I'm going to go over each of those one by one, and I'm going to start with zinc. We have just had some great news lately about a possible old drug coming back to help with this coronavirus called chloroquine. Now, there's some debate as to whether or not that is going to be good or bad. What I want us to look at is what does that mean? Why is that something that's helping? And if you look it up under its mechanism of action and how it affects viruses specifically, zinc is incredibly important for that mechanism. So I want to make sure that we have enough zinc to be able to do that if you do need to do that or if you just need your, your immune system to use it in general. And in fact, there's a really cool test that I've been doing over the years from a great company called Standard Process, and it's a zinc test. It gives you an idea of where your zinc levels may be right now. And it's a great way going forward just to kind of check in once in a while, make sure that you are in, an, in a situation where you have adequate zinc, not just for your immune system, but for all the other things that you need zinc in your body. So where do we get zinc from? A lot of people want to run out and get a zinc lozenge or get a zinc supplement. And I caution against that for two reasons. Number one, you want to make sure you're getting your zinc from whole foods. We can't just take elemental zinc, put it in our body, and expect our body to use it. The way that it was packaged for us by nature is that the plants are able to take it out of the soil and make it bioavailable for us. So you want to make sure you're getting it from a food source. And the other thing to think about with zinc is you want to make sure you're balancing it with other minerals. If you just hit zinc over and over again, you can actually create an imbalance with your copper and your iron. So making sure you're getting it from these whole foods, and I'll give you a few examples here. Uh, almonds would be a great example. Cashews, pumpkin seeds, mushrooms, peas, carrots. There's a lot of great whole food ones. You can do a Google search on those, but those would be my go-tos to start with. And for those of you who don't think that you're getting them from your food, I'll give you a list at the end of whole food supplement that I would personally take for myself to make sure that I'm getting them at this time. Now, one last thing about zinc, though, and this is another thing we've observed over the years, is that a lot of people do not have sufficient stomach acid to be able to extract the zinc. So if you're having digestive uh, challenges, and you, you, there's a lot of ways we can talk about that, you have to make sure that you have the sufficient stomach acid to extract that zinc out of the food so that your body can utilize it. Okay, all that being said, really quickly, for those of you who are a healthcare practitioner who uses Standard Process, or for those of you who are seeing a healthcare practitioner who will provide you a Standard Process, my personal favorite is Immuplex. And Immuplex is something I think of as a multivitamin specifically for your immune system, and it is a great source of zinc. And there's also something called Epimune Complex, which is more of a mushroom base, but it also gives you that zinc as well. Now, when we're thinking about zinc in general, there is something that they could provide called zinc liver chelate. Now, this is where you want to definitely see a healthcare practitioner to help you determine which ones can be best for you. 
because again like we said earlier about that just being zinc that can be something that you're not going you want to be careful of long term so there is something also called keyzine it's chelated zinc with iron and copper to balance them all out and finally one of the ones that i take on a daily basis to make sure i'm getting all of my minerals from a whole food it's actually a kelp source is trace minerals b12 it's a great way to balance them all out now there are other ones that there are available out there and that's going to be specific to you guys to talk to your practitioners about but know that there are options for you but just make sure that you're either getting them in your food or you're finding a way to check your zinc levels. Stay healthy and think about what we can do going forward so the next time this comes, you're not so susceptible to any type of an illness. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.